Hello my friends, I am Jihondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Open TTD. This is episode 2. Uh, to be more accurate, I should probably say this is about 2.1, uh, because if you've been watching carefully, the end of the last video and the beginning of this one won't quite line up. Um, I had a slight problem with my recording software, entirely my fault, and apparently I did not have my save files going properly either, so again, my fault. Um, so we have lost a little bit. Now, on the upside, it's not much. Um, on the end of the last episode, we had didn't, done, this, didn't, done this train here, uh, hauling oil to Finningdor, and I had just started with a very similar, you'll see I've already built the train here, um, very similar setup, hauling iron from those mines over here to the steel mill. Um, good news is you haven't lost much other than me actually building the train. That's all you've missed. As you'll see, is when this train pulls in, it's going to pop up, activating the station because it is quite literally I just created this. So you haven't really missed all that much. Now what we'll do is I'm going to fast forward here and let this buzz over, activate the iron mines themselves, and we're going to wait for it to actually pass a load of iron to that mill, get the mission officially rolling, and then we're going to work on the next mission after that, which is a mail mission. Okay, fantastic. Mail and passengers in this game work slight, very similarly, but slightly different than other goods, like for example the oil or the iron ore. Uh, in cases like this, basically, you know, so you pick up oil at the wells point A and take them to the refinery point B. Point B pays you, fantastic. You then the train goes back empty and the process repeats. Mail and passengers though have a slight advantage in that. You can pick up mail or passengers from point A, take them, drop them off at point B, but then point B will also have mail or indoor passengers, which you can take back to point A. So you actually can profit on both runs of the trip, which is fantastic. Now they don't pay as well, generally speaking, as other goods do, but the fact that you get paid on both sides means you never have a completely empty trip, which makes you nothing. Anyway, so our ore has arrived, the first load. There we go, 21 dial for that, and in a second this should update up here. And then we're going to go ahead and work on this. Now this one is a male one. Now I've taken, there it goes, thank you. Uh, so I've taken a look around already in this area. Uh, there is a city very, very close, but with a small population and therefore not much in the way of mail. So we could connect it, but it's not really going to do much for us. So instead what I'm going to do and again, there's another fairly large sea up here, which is pretty far away. But if I look to the south, there are three cities very close, and there's a fourth one only slightly further away. So, and these are all fairly large cities. I am deliberately skipping this one, even though it's the largest by population, and therefore would have the most mail, simply because of its layout. I can't put a station anywhere where I can get these houses and these houses. And with only one or the other, it's not really that good. It's functionally a much smaller city. So the layout of this city has kind of stymied us a little bit. But these ones are far more compact, so I should be able to get a good portion out of all of them. So my thought process here is I'm just going to build a train that goes from Grud Church to Seening Hill, and then from Seening Hill to Runbrook, from Runbrook to Senum, and from Senum back to Grud Church. So what will happen is I'll get profit on every single hit, and our mission will get a tag only from the Senum to Grud Church, but that is, excuse me, going to be probably the biggest one. So it should work out pretty well. So let's go ahead and begin with some train stations. With a distance, especially down here at Senum, it's definitely worth a train. If I were only going from, say, Seening Hill to Grud Church, I might just make that a road and do it by mail trucks, but I think for this distance it's probably going to be worth putting it in as an actual train. So let's try and grab a good portion of the houses. That looks pretty good. And we can do the same over here. Wow, this is the catchment for this one almost catches the city. That's very interesting. Let's see though if we can maybe squeeze in here somewhere. Oh, there's a hill there. Hang on a second. Let us do some quick flattening. There we go. Now we should be allowed to plunk in. There we go. That gets most of it. Excellent. And 
might want one from up here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Go there, or over here to get these ones. Or I could do it on this side to try and get these ones. Well, let's go on this side and try and get most of those if we can. So let's make a train this way. Perfect. And lastly, we'll have the final drop off here. And again, we should try and pick up as many houses as we can because we might as well make some profit going from there to here. But that's the only real reason. It has no effect on the actual mission where we actually drop it off. So we either get that group or that group. We'll just get this group. It'll be fine. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and start laying some track. A bit of a hill right there. That's not a great start, but that's okay. Uh, oh, I must have had that one square too far over, and it thought I wanted to build a track on top of the track that's already in the station, which is never going to work. No problem. Thank you, message. Go away. Okay, so that's those two. Now we go from here down to here, and this one's going to get a little more exciting. I think I'm just going to have it come this way and then back out that way. Uh, this would be shorter, but it's going to be a lot more convoluted with hills, whereas this side it's just going to be a lot of corners, which are also not very good for a train because they slow it down a lot, but it's still not quite as bad as hills are. Well, I don't know if I like that like that. We may change that. Let's come over here though and work on this side. This side will definitely have to come out a bit. And then turn and head this way to put to there for now. Okay, okay, we can work with this. This will be okay. Oops, we have to go talk to our friends at the bank again. There we go. Friendly bankers more than happy to just shovel money my way. If only bankers in the real world would do that. Anyway, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Right, let's go ahead and take get rid of that because we don't need it. Instead, we can just do that and that to that. Beautiful. And we need a way for this one to leave so we can go over to here. This one can just simply go like that and then turn so as to dodge that road. I could cut across a little easier by building a uh, bridge over it but those are very expensive and I'd rather not do that it wouldn't really save that much time anyway because whereas it crosses it comes to a bridge it has to go up so it counts as a hill anyway so I'd rather just have a little bit more of a run in a couple of corners and that'll be fine okay uh, this actually does look like a fantastic spot to place our depot though doesn't it so boink right there fantastic now we'll go ahead and build ourselves Oops. a steam engine and you can tell I had already looked at this because it was already sitting on mail cars again I apologize for the time we lost earlier there we go four mail cars perfect so first we're going to name this and I don't really have room to type in the names of all of these cities so instead we're just going to call it Grud Church and Senum and then we'll say loop or something just so I know it's multiple stations that are not all listed. That'll do. Beautiful. Right. Okay. Oh, this can go. We don't need that anymore. All right. Now we'll set the actual route. And this is basically going from Grud Church to CNL to Runbrook to Sanom, and then on your way back, if you need it, some maintenance. Very good, and we are green to go. We'll unpause, and if I haven't screwed this up too badly, which apparently I have, we'll pause, stop the train, and try and figure out what I did wrong. So it can't figure out a way to get from here back to, oh, right there. I did mess it up, because there is no way for the train to continue in that direction. There we go. That should do it. Now let's just have the train go ahead and 
turn around. And try again. And this time, it should be able to figure out the path. That's better. Here we go. Okay. We'll let that buzz through. Ooh, I should probably fix that. It probably would be worth paying for the landscaping to get rid of that. So that's something we'll deal with another time. There we go. So we'll go ahead and activate that. And now this train is just going to zip back and forth, activating all the other stations. But at this point, my friends, I think we're going to call it a video. So I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a calm and relaxing day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one, and see you on the other side. Bye now.